The challenges facing Scotland are stark and undeniable. We find ourselves shackled to a Westminster system that repeatedly demonstrates its disregard for our nation's needs and aspirations. Our voices are ignored, our desires for self-determination are brushed aside like inconveniences. History bears witness to the countless times Scotland's identity, culture and resources have been exploited and marginalised. Grangemouth's closure and the relentless siphoning of our natural wealth southward are modern day travesties happening right under our noses while the media turn a blind eye. Now we're being warned of potential conflicts where Scottish lives may once again be sacrificed for interests that are not our own. But amidst these challenges lies our greatest opportunity, independence. It isn't just a political ambition, it's our lifeline, our shield against oppression, our beacon of hope. The time for action is now. Alba stands as a testament to this urgency, championing bills for self-determination and holding Westminster accountable. We implore all parties, particularly the SNP and the Greens, to prioritise Scotland's interests above other political agendas. The Scottish people put their trust in the SNP. What has happened? Now the SNP, they're scared to use the word independence. And they're embarrassed by the word national. Many of us find it hard to believe the very interest the new independence at all. The people see through the yellow sham. But with Ash Reagan's Holyrood referendum powers bill, the SNP should seize the chance to salvage their legacies and help us make history. The people support the bill, so the SNP need to get behind the people and help Scotland democratically assert our collective national sovereignty. We need leaders willing to make sacrifices to be remembered in the annals of Scottish history as the heroes who dared to defy the status quo. Let Scotland not be forgotten, like Thomas Cochrane, whose legacy lives on in faraway lands while his homeland remains divided and oppressed. Recently, I returned to South America, where I witnessed firsthand the profound reverence for heroes who fought for freedom against colonial oppression. In Chile, the honour figures like Bernard O'Higgins, an Irishman, and Thomas Cochrane, a Scot, whose names resonate throughout the nation. In Chilean towns and cities, statues of Cochrane stand tall, adorned with plaques bearing heartfelt words. Chile thanks you. Streets, squares and even entire towns bear his name, testament to his indelible impact on their history. While Cochrane may not be a household name in every corner of the world, his legacy burns brightly in Chile. He's celebrated as a liberator, not just of Chile, but also of Peru and Greece, his feats immortalised in museums and revered in local folklore. In our land, perhaps shamefully, his name's nay widely known. Unless you're a fervent enthusiast of naval history or an avid viewer of Scotland Speaks with Alex Salmond, nonetheless, Cochrane's story serves as a reminder of Scotland's historical contributions to the fight for liberty and justice worldwide. As I stood in Chile, surrounded by tributes to those who fought for freedom, I could not help but draw parallels to a reign struggle. Pablo Neruda's words echo in my mind. You can cut the flowers but you will never stop the spring. Independence is our spring, our unstoppable force for change. Let us unite, let us rally, let us seize our destiny and carve a future where Scotland's voice resounds, where our people flourish and where our sovereignty is unassailable. Together, we can achieve independence. Together, we can ensure that Scotland's spring never falters. Thank you.